It was scary. I was scared, and I'm not going to lie. A small aircraft with a single pilot and two passengers on board plunges into a vacant home in the 500 block of Northwood Drive Sunday afternoon. It was loud, but it wasn't too loud. We thought it was the trash man grabbing the trash. The call came in around noon from air traffic control at Georgetown Airport. A small single engine plane was having difficulty making it back to the runway. The pilot uh, reported just engine engine troubles. We don't know if it quit or just was sputtering, uh, but he was having some engine trouble. As first responders were en route, neighbors sprang into action. We came out from the apartment and ran over here, and we, my brother-in-law was trying to break down the door to get in because we could see um, the people running around on the roof. I just started to actually kick the door down, and then I heard one of the victims um, Yell at me, yell, tell me to stop through the door. She's yelling at me, and uh, she opened the door, and there she was. And then the other two people were upstairs, just trying to figure out how to get down. The discovery of a staircase helped rescue the crash victims out of the attic. They had some blood and some like minor cuts, but other than that, they were walking in just really shaken up. Seems to think that the pilot was trying to use Northwest Boulevard here as a, as a landing option. Uh, I think the power line scared him away, and he just veered away from the apartment complex behind you, and I believe he just had to make that split-second decision. The battalion chief says the crew was headed back from breakfast in Kerrville and were only a quarter of a mile from the runway. He, he was coming from the south to the north, uh, and uh, his left wing caught the roof and kind of made the, the slice through the roof that you see from this perspective here. All three of the crash victims walked away with non-life-threatening injuries. They were taken to a local hospital. I'm just very happy and in shock still and glad that the people walked away with not very um, major injuries.